The study has been conducted by the Botanic Gardens, the Gibraltar Museum and GONHS and is funded by the University of Gibraltar. Keith Bensusan of the university says that its publication in scientific reports will allow it to be read by many experts in the field and give the university's research some exposure. So the study was was uh, conducted uh, by the the um, Gibraltar Botanic Gardens, the the Gibraltar Museum, and and uh, Gons under the aegis of the the University of of Gibraltar, which provided funding support. And this is part of a wider study that we've been carrying out on crag martins that winter in Gibraltar at these caves at the Gorham's Cave complex, and the study um, aimed to test whether the the many thousands actually of birds that roost in these caves favor particular caves and also whether whether any of those caves appear to be better or worse as roosts and we tested that by by looking at the condition of the birds um, uh, weighing them and measuring them and we found that indeed um, the birds return to their favored caves and also that some caves appear to be better as roosts than others. So, so we found that the birds in Gorham's cave were in a better condition than the birds in the other two caves. Those involved in the study have been tracking these birds since 2016 and have found the populations to be growing with the birds actually returning to Gorham's cave year on year during the winter. And uh, we tend to see that they, they fluctuate between 1,000 to 3,500 over the season. Um, although last year we had an exceptional count of, of 5,000 birds going in in one evening. But this last season we actually counted up to 12,000 birds going into the, into the caves on, on the one night. Um, that actually constitutes between 1 and 2% of the whole European population of crag martins um, that winter here. Uh, so it, it is a very important site um, for crag martins in, in winter. It is one of the largest ones that we know of. I will only see these birds at, um, from October onwards, is that correct? That's right, so they come here after they've uh, bred at their breeding sites elsewhere um, and they start to arrive in, in October and then they leave by, by March, so they're only here for the winter. What do you think this says about Gibraltar as a home to wildlife? Um, so, I mean, what it does tell us is that these caves have been protected for, for a very long time. Uh, there's very little human disturbance there, even today with, with ongoing archaeology uh, in the caves as well. So it just shows that when, when a site is protected, um, wildlife just thrives. A link to the published study can be found on our website.